Welcome back to another Paracord Planet tutorial. Today we're going to be making a knife fob or lanyard to put on this knife. Uh, people put paracord fobs on their knives for a couple different reasons. Um, one is that a bright colored paracord tassel on, on the knife can make your knife easier to find in the bottom of a big bag. It can also create a little bit longer of a, a grip for a really small knife that only fits two or three fingers. Um, and still others, they just add it because they like the looks of it. This project really only takes two to three feet of paracord, depending on how long you want. We're going to be making a shorter fob today. If you were to make a, like a wrist lanyard, you might need a couple more feet. Um, but this is a good way to use up paracord scraps if you have a lot of those lying around. In addition to your paracord, you're going to need a knife with a hole at one side of it that you can stick your, your lanyard through and anchor it. Um, and as with any paracord project, you'll need scissors to cut and a lighter to heat seal ends. All right, so to begin, we're just gonna thread one end of our paracord through the knife loop. Make sure both ends are about even. So I'm actually gonna add a small bead onto the lanyard just because I like the way it looks and the, the matte finish matches the blade of the knife. So to get both pieces of paracord through this bead, I'm just gonna melt both ends together to taper them off a little bit. Just be careful so you don't burn yourself. There we go. I slide that loosely up to the knife. And then we're gonna be, begin our snake knots, is the method we're gonna be using today. So to make our snake knots, I'm going to make a loop with the left cord around the front and then the back like this. And then with the left cord, it's going to go behind the back, across the front, and through this loop. You can pull that right up against your bead. Like that. We can tighten that down once we get our second one. So again, this loop around the back like that. The other one around the back and through the loop. And now's when we, now we can really tighten it down. Kind of want to push up towards your second knot, otherwise they'll, there will be a space in between them. So I'm going to do about 10 of those in a row and I'll catch you when I'm done. So as I'm finishing up this last knot here, I'm just going to pull that tight, pull on each side individually to really snug it down, and then I'll just, I'm going to cut my ends, you can leave the tails as long as you want, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave them about two inches. And then I'm just going to melt them down. This is just so that they don't fray. And there are paracord fobs done. Um, you can change this up in a lot of different ways. Like I added the bead. Um, you can also you know, just add any other beads that you have laying around. I'll put links to this one in the description. We also have a lot of skull beads that people like to put on, on these fobs. Um, this is a good project to use up scraps of paracord that you have laying around and dress up one of your knives. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.